Hello everybody, welcome back. So I want to show uh, what I did for my co-worker gifts. So I will, I only, I made uh, seven for seven co-workers. There's a lot more than seven people that work with us, but um, I do these for special people and then I will do uh, just like little candy bags or something for everybody else. So let's hop right into this. Jump right down this rabbit hole and I'll show what I made. So basically the gift is in this little box that I made. Um, it was um, a cutting file on uh, the Cricut store. So I used the Cricut to cut it. It's just a little milk, like a little milk container. And I thought that was cute. And uh, basically all I did was I made this glitter paper bow. Glued that bad boy on there. A uh, gem, just some of these, um, I don't know, whatever that trim is, you know, that bling trim that we all get. And just some of this wiry, it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's some kind of wire trim that you can use, like, to make little twirlies and things with. I don't know, I know it came from Walmart, it's like a dollar eighty-eight, but it's the iridescent, which kind of goes with the whole theme here. So let's get into the box. And all I did for the closure was I just used some of that wired stuff, twisted it around like once just to hold it, punched a couple holes with my crocodile, and there we go. That closed it. So yeah, it just opens up because I didn't want to glue it shut. So this is what I decided to make. We had a bunch of these ornaments that... um there was a threat of them going in the garbage, apparently, so they got salvaged out of the, not out of the trash, but from the trash, you know, from going to the trash. So they're just the clear ornaments. I used the Dollar Tree shreddies. It had some iridescent. It was white. I don't know. I always call them worms, but it's the crinkle shreds. And I used some of that. Just, uh, you know, took the little metal top off and just started shoving it in there. Until it was reasonably full. I did seven of these ornaments. And I think I maybe used a third of the Dollar Tree package. So you get, it goes, has a lot of mileage. Gets a lot of mileage out of it. Then I used our new Cricut machine. And of course I used, uh, you know, gotta use that. Paid all that money for it. <laughs> Want to make sure I use it. But um, I did do white vinyl. And just cut out this season's greetings in white vinyl. A uh, little trick I found because this is a curved surface, and it might just be the vinyl that I bought also because I did not buy the real Cricut vinyl. Uh, the vinyl that I bought, it is supposed to be indoor, outdoor, blah, 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 but it didn't really like to seal on to this um, surface, this curved surface. So I did find if you hit it with the heat gun for a second, I don't know if this vinyl was kind of thick is more, I think was more the issue. So it didn't really want to bend around. It didn't want to stay so like the edges would like curl up and stuff. So basically I just used the um, the heat gun and I mean just hit it literally for a second. Just to soften it and then just used my bone folder to push it down. And that seemed to get it to adhere the way I wanted it to. And I did the 2018 on the back. So I did the 2018 on the back. And then on the top... I don't know if the glitter is really going to show, but I used um, the texture paste and just tried to make it look like a little snowy top. Sealed the, the metal top on with it basically is what I did there. And I did put some glitter. Oh yeah, it's picking it up a little bit. I did put some iridescent glitter over top just to, and not loose glitter, like glitter paint. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I just made a little white bow that has these little arrows on it. Uh, I know I got this um ribbon from joann's they had a bunch of clearance ribbon and this was one of the ones i picked up it happened to be white i mean i bought that a while ago but it happened to work out for this project uh then i just took these are like little itty bitty red berries but they they're from the dollar tree they're like on a i don't know it's like a spray or a stick or whatever and there's there's big ones but then there's these little tiny ones like on little pieces of plastic like, I don't know, just little plastic branches. So I just nipped some of the little ones off and stuck them on here with these cute little green iridescent leaves. And I thought that was just enough pop of color on the white theme 
I thought it was just enough to give it a little something. So yeah, that's basically what I made for my my gifts for my coworker gifts. Um, real simple, real easy. These ornaments are. I know we bought them. We've had them for a few years. They used to be on the tree. Uh, I think at one point we did like a bubble tree where it was all clear ornaments and then with just some white and silver in it. Well, we like to change it up every once in a while. So we had a bunch of these. These are from, like I said, Walmart. They're like a dollar eighty-eight for eight of them or something. So we didn't want to chuck them, so we're repurposing them. Oh, and just a little piece of silver hangy uh, ribbon just to, to hang it on the tree. So yeah, that's all I did for that. Uh, I might put some shreddies or something in the bottom of the box. That might be the only other real thing that will get added. And basically this just slid in here like so. So these really didn't take me too long. It was more the dry time on the uh, texture paste that took the longest to do. The rest of it really wasn't that bad. And then I just kind of had it on here like this. And that's it. I thought that would just be a nice cute little gift. I might just make a little tiny gift tag with the person's name on it. And just hang it from, from this. And that'll be it. But yeah, that's what I made guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, all that stuff. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it. Have a good night.